Hey, welcome back to Very Beautiful. Today I'm going to be doing a spring office look tutorial. Um, this is just going to be a quick and easy tutorial and I'm going to be using the Sup Beauty My Mock Kit and this is the number one kit. Um, Wake Me is the name of the palette but it's basically a coral themed palette and you have four shadows in here and a mirror and then you have a lip tint and a matte lipstick. I already have my foundation on. I left a little bit of foundation on my lips here, like on the outer corners, just because I have that natural lip line that a lot of darker lips have. So if you have that, then I would suggest doing that too, just so that we're able to get that little bit in gradient effect lip later. That is why they have the two different lip colors. I'm gonna actually begin with the eyes. And to start that off, I'm gonna use this shade right here, this light brown shade, and I'm gonna use it as a base for my eyelids. So I'm using my shadow brush, just dab that. Thing that I'm going to do is take this darker brown color. It's kind of like a glittery color. Like these two are more of a chunky glitter. Well, this is a shimmer and this is matte. I'm gonna take this color here and I'm gonna just apply it in the crease so that I have just a little bit of dimension on the outer corner, you know? And if I'm moving to the side, it's just cause like I have this in the bathroom in front of the mirror. So I can't really see if I'm right in front of the camera, you know what I mean? Wetting this angled eyeliner brush and you can use whichever one that you have just to make this color stand out a little bit more on my skin tone. And here we go. There you go. And I'm going to be applying this here on the top as a liner. And then coming down to the bottom, probably like midway through and connecting it. And that's just to, again, give my eyes a little bit more depth because my eyes are kind of small. So I'm gonna try using this and just wetting it because what I wanna do is use this nice glittery um, white shade here and just get this in my inner corners on the bottom and this is gonna wake me because it's the title. Okay, I'm cheesy, I know. I'm sorry guys. But I'm gonna put this here, and I really like putting this here because you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of one of my very first makeup tutorials that I ever did on YouTube, which I don't know if I deleted it or put it on private, because whatever. But um, back when I was in high school, I did an Uljong makeup tutorial, and that was one of my favorite looks and why I started YouTube, because I loved seeing Uljong videos so putting this here just like reminds me of that and I don't think that video is there anymore just because I got so much like negative comments because I guess I didn't do it like completely Uljong but this just like brings me back like to the good old YouTube days and just I don't know I, I liked this look I felt like it made me look like I didn't guzzle down three coffees and still feel like going to sleep. So I'm going to actually curl my eyelashes and just put on a mascara. That's the one thing I think they should add to this kit if they could somehow find like another spot somewhere or make it a little bit longer if they could put a mini mascara because then if they did that, this would be like a complete kit because you would have a mascara with it because I can't not have mascara. So curl my eyelashes right now. And I just do this like pulsing thing because I saw it on Wayne Goss like a long time ago and it always worked for me to like actually keep the curl. So I like that. And I'm just gonna use, what is this? Avon True Color Love at First Lash Mascara. I think I did a blog post on this. So if you're interested, that's on my website. And for this look, I think I'm just gonna do the top lashes completely like how I normally do. 
And then to the part that I lined with the darker shade, I'll do that on the bottom, but I'm not gonna put them on the white because we want that to make my eyes look open. So probably like right here, put some, kind of like when, you know, people used to take like half lashes and put them on the bottom. That's kind of what I'm doing. Just, it's like a little, look just so that this looks really open. This is this matte lipstick in coral. And I'm just gonna dab it on my cheeks in little spots like this. And that'll be enough. Then I'm gonna blend it with my finger I'm using my middle finger but like obviously whatever finger feels best for you to blend I feel like just one that's not gonna give a ton of pressure so maybe not your index finger because you don't want to wipe off your foundation while you're trying to blend and so normally a lip tint like this you would think it wouldn't show up but you'll see when I strike it that there is an actual tint to it and I'm gonna use it as a highlighter by going right above where I just went you see how it's kind of pink look at that it changes colors isn't that cool? And I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger as well, but it's gonna be kind of like a glossy highlight. I'm gonna take this contouring brush. Um, it's gonna work for this blush because I just needed something small that would fit in here. I'm gonna take this pink coral eyeshadow and I'm using it as blush because I think that just works better for um, my skin tone. And just smile. It's probably more than enough, but I wanted to make sure it's showed on camera um, just because sometimes you can wash out. And yeah, so that's gonna be it for the cheeks, for the eyes. Last but not least, we're gonna do the lips and radiant lip, which is kind of like a bit in look. And that's why I left the foundation here um, because I have that natural lip line. And if you do, um, I actually found out how to do this for people with that lip line from a girl named Rocky Wright. And I'll leave a link to her video down below just because it really helped me figure out how to like make this look work for my like darker lips. You know, my camera shut off on me. So we're gonna do this over again. Maybe it'll be better this time anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put it in the center here. Just about that much. Then we're gonna take a tissue paper and press together to just get the excess off and run it over with the lip tint and you want it to kind of stay put so that way it gets that fit in look. So, just a little smushing, not too much to get it everywhere. And that's it. So you get that gradient lip effect where it looks like it's fit in in the middle. There are other ways to do it. So like I said, you can try to look that up in um, one of the links I have below from Rocky Wright because that was a really helpful video on that. And yeah, but this is actually gonna complete my look using the Set Beauty My Mott Kit. This is how I would do, you know, an office spring look using this palette to kind of just brighten up my look a bit instead of wearing like all of the nudes that I usually do when I go to work or just not wearing makeup at all. <laughs> so let me know if you liked this video and if you are interested in the Set Beauty My Mock Kit, I have a link down below where you can purchase it or see it or look at something else. I don't know. And also let me know what you want to see next. I'm going to be done rambling now because I actually do have to go to work. So <laughs> bye guys.